the young person's guide to becoming a rock star. What you need, in summary, belief. If you can live that dream, others will too. You also need talent, charisma, and looks. Commitment, fighting spirit, and the will to do the job properly. Put these elements together with management, sympathetic to your uninhibited approach to life, and the correct artistic environment, then you'll be ready to create the tune for hell. Come on. That knicker dampening, hormone liberating, snog inducing the beating pulse of youth. Jokes were hey, it's it. That's great, you can widen out, yeah. 29. You can come off the base. The music business can change you, and not always in a good way. In our case, Psycho's recent sexual initiation produced an unforeseen result. Yeah, that's lovely. Look, widen out, widen out, and hold it. Show. So we've got Fiona, Jez, Big Willie, um, Joe, and Physio. Psycho. Psy psycho. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, what I do know is that Martin has been absolutely dying to meet you all. Yeah, hey! It's Martin, the marmoset, everyone. Way! 49, go. two next. Good. 15, In on the marmoset. Bonkers. Oh dear. Uh oh, Martin. You haven't fallen in love again, have you? She's beauty bird. <laughs> <laughs> he always falls in love. Oh, look at him. He wants a cuddle, Joe. Give him a cuddle. Oh. 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 Go on, he's ever so huggy. Oh. 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 Good grief. What's he doing? Right, in a moment we're going to ask you all to help judge our scary, hairy, tarantula competition. So come on, kids, Arr. bring them on. Here they are. Look at them. They're whoppers. Also, we need someone who's going to go out and speak with Uncle Christopher in the agony corner. I'll do that. Brilliant. Right, um, um, okie dokie, excellent. Yeah, do that again, and you're dead. Is everything all right over there? Big cheeky again. What's he doing? I'm Martin, the mischief. Cue the jingle, cue the crappy jingle. Brilliant! Oh, isn't he great? Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're not a spider. Point. Hold the spider. <laughs> so we just said your first single. Lassie, we are bag on the heat. Uh, that sounds interesting. We just told you there. Rush out and buy it, kids. Uh, Shot over there. That's the Lassie, we are bag on the heat. Okay, so it's psycho, isn't it? Ah. Right, psycho. Uh, tell us what it's all about. Well, it's about a friend of Jersey's who had terrible trouble with plucks. I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous, like, but one look at her face and sex city, I mean, it's just gave you the boat. God, what's he on about? Great tits and that. Oh, no, no, right. no, I've got something Brilliant. else. Brilliant. Um, I think, I think we're going to go on to uh, judging the area tarantula competition. Is the spider gone? Are you ready, Martin? Am I ever? I'm... Ah! Oh, shit! What's Johnny doing back? Oh my god, uh, cut wide, cut wide! Get off the spider! Uh, cut to the kid, cut to the kid. That spider's cost me 30 quid, he's gonna pay for that. No, uh, uh, cut to Agony Corner, go to Uncle Christopher. Right, Jocks, I think we've got to go over to, to Uncle Christopher in the Agony Corner. Yeah. Shit, <laughs> now. Hi, hello, welcome to Agony Corner. 
this is the part of the show where you ring in with your problems. So let's go to the phone straight away and find out who's first on this morning. Hi, I'm Walter. Hello, Walter. What's your problem? I've been bullied by my English teacher and he won't leave me alone. Just keeps picking on me. Walter, that's terrible. Let me tell you something. Bullying is always wrong. And when it's your English teacher, it's even worse. I feel for you, I really do. Let's see if there's something we can do to help you out today. Woolly, do you have some words of advice for Walter from Kilmarnock here? Um, do you know where this guy lives, Walter? Sure. Yes, he does. Good. Now, I know a couple of guys in Paisley... Great. ...who would be more than happy to get around there... Good! ...and kneecap this bastard. How does that sound? Um, ah... Uh... Thanks, Ellie. That would be fantastic. Excellent. Who's um... next, then? Sorry about that. We're having some technical difficulties. We'll return to Saturday Wow shortly. What I ought to do... What I ought to do is make a few phone calls and ensure that your clients never work again for this or any other television channel ever. Mr. Devon, we understand you'll be a wee bit upset, I... but... You have reduced Debbie here to tears and jeopardised the public image of one of the most dedicated and professional children's broadcasters in the field. Sorry, Debbie. I don't mean Debbie. Neither am I speaking of the irreparable damage to the reputation of Martin the Marmoset. I'm speaking now of Uncle Christopher, who has resigned from Saturday Wow forthwith. For <laughs> Christ's sake, the guy asked my opinion. We've taken 27,122 calls at our switchboard. What did they say? 2,038 were from citizens outraged by the death, live on network children's television, of a rare South Bolivian fruit spider. 6,388 were from children requesting kneecapping for their teachers, interestingly. 12,822 for photographs of Mr. Psycho MacPhail and the address of his fan club. It just keeps happening. And the rest, demanding for some unaccountable reason which continues to evade me, your reappearance on the show. So? So, we're offering you a regular spot for the next four weeks, and if Mr. McBoyne can moderate his language, we'd like him to take over in the agony corner. <laughs> you mean I'd be Uncle Willie? That is correct. You just said that we ruined your program. You did. But we'll get a shitload of coverage over this debacle. Should be worth a couple of million in ratings. Mr. Debenham, we'll be happy to help you out. Good. Hospitality, anyone? What for a bit of that? Great. Well, then. That didn't turn out too bad, did it? Of course, sir. We'll have to adjust our fee. Don't push it, Mr. Stilton. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. So, Psycho. Do all the girls think you're the best-looking one, then? Aye, they do. Does it not bother you, though? I mean, you know, they're not interested in you as a person. They just want to get into your pants. No. I mean, what I'm saying is, is that I only feel truly comfortable with people who are as famous as I am. You know, I understand the sort of pressures that we're under. And it's only then that I can truly open myself up. Do you understand what I'm saying? I believe I do, David. It says all your fault. I don't know what you're talking about. The artist formerly known as Psycho. What'd you have to shag him for? I took pity on him, OK? You're just jealous. No, I'm no. What? Nothing. Oh, come on, let's go get some babies and go back to the flat, eh? Aye. You feel like you've climbed a mountain. You've got a deal. Carved out an audience. Made your album. And been plunged oh, into a whirlwind lifestyle of promotion, oh. gigs, oh. and personal appearances. Oh, Celebrities just round the corner, Debbie. but the pressure's getting to you. Oh, Debbie, baby. Oh, Trust yeah. together day on day, never out of each other's sight, little things start to niggle. And somehow, in ways you can't fully articulate, Willie, how long? You're not happy. Oh. Willie? Are you alright? Can't have a shite in peace? Give me a 
So good at being snug, yeah. Mm, you too, gorgeous. Mm. That's your long jet. Mm. But it's talcum powder night of secrets in. And let's face it, it's just no you're seen that. Let's go. <laughs> Who's that? Ah, uh, he's in my band. There's a singing. You can't avoid a certain amount of interpersonal tension within a band. Just try to keep things normal. Respond in an adult way. Keep your grip on reality. Take an eye for an eye and the light for an eye. an all-over body massage. Jess! You gotta shut that door! Well, squeezing my fanny out. You okay? Aye. Bloody fantastic. You've gotta be careful. Stuck in a strange city, you're subject to constant temptation. And if you're feeling that everything's getting on top of you, you'll be susceptible to activities that you might later come to regret. Hello, Mum. Yeah, hi, it's Jeremy. No, I'm okay. No, you're gorgeous. No, I'm not just saying that because I'm your ma. Your dad loves you too. I does. Right, put your hands on your hips and check it to the right. Two, three, four. To the other side. Two, three, four. Feel the burn and, and pump it. Right, and shake your head. Let's get them neck muscles working. That's it. Shake Aussie. your head. Right after Aussie. right, we're all going down to Monstro. Five, six, seven. What are you doing, woman? I'm just achieving cardiovascular equilibrium. It's Jez. Needs a bit of cheering up. Oh. Come on. It's woman trouble. What's the matter with you, boy? Hey, 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 hey. Pull yourself together. Are you greeting? Are you or you big poofy? Oh, well, is that because of that lassie? Aye. Well, forget her then. Well, you just have to face it. You're just no good looking enough. Oh, well, I just tell it like it is, son. Aye. Bye. Are you nice? <sighs> nice. I'm always nice.
When making your video, try to ensure that you have a visual concept that does justice to your songwriting ability. I could sell this shit. It's amazing. These people could be homeless, but they're having such tremendous fun. Cut, 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 cut. Reset Cardboard City. I want some makeup for that front man, please. Finally, after years of struggle and study, you're about to fulfill your destiny. Now, at last, Hi, you ladies. know how to behave like a rock star. Singer. I'm the songwriter. I'm the sword and front man, you stupid bitches. I'm the star. Me. Me. Make sure they touch up your arse cycle. When I want to miss your best side. Fee. Come on. We're all feeling a wee bit tense. It's just... Everything seems wrong. I, th I don't think I want to be in this band anymore. I know. I know. You just need a wee bit of affection. Take your mind off things. I do. Well, I'll tell you, Fee. You've come to the right man. I've discovered I've got a talent in that area. <laughs> Problem? I. Because I'm certain of him too, okay? Uh, am I missing something? You love him and he loves you, and uh, that's the problem. I am trying to maintain a professional relationship. You hear that, Seiko? She's trying to preserve a professional relationship. <laughs> see things have come to a head between Psycho and you. Too bloody, right? Aye, and it's for that reason that the band have come to the difficult Aye. decision. Get rid of the him. The best thing would be... He's doing my head in. ...for you to leave the band. Show the bastard the door. What? I'm out of the band. Me? I'll leave you with your thoughts. OK, 
Okay, doll. Are you sure this is going to work? Yes. It's got to. Otherwise, we're gubbed. It's all down to you, Velopsha. I just hope you're as good as they say you are. Yeah. There's uh, somebody to see you. Doing my fan mail. She says she's heard what a stud you are. Really? Hi. Just an autograph. It won't take a minute. The first time I saw you was at your concert, and you were just beautiful. Well, I'm not surprised, though. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Feeling sleepy? Yeah. Really, really sleepy? Mm. Listen carefully, Psycho. You are a virgin boy. You've never done it with a lady before. Women just don't find you attractive at all. No? No. You're at the band, right? Hi. So, we're not involved professionally. I suppose not. You're back in tomorrow morning and it's my turn to be fired next week, so... Can we do some shagging now, please? Happiness, happiness The greatest gift that I possess I thank the Lord that I've been blessed with more than my share of happiness. To me, this world is a wonderful place. I'm the luckiest human in the Aww. human race. I've got no silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Hey, Psycho. How'd you go on with a lump chair last night? Who? Ah, Psycho. <laughs> so, how are we feeling? Fine. So, eh, uh, can you remember anything about yesterday? Did something bad happen? No, no, no. 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 Everything's cool, eh, no, Jess? Aye. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Great. Glad to hear it. Listen, uh, I've just been doing the accounts, and I'm afraid we've got a wee bit of ground to make up. How much ground? Jesus! So, comrades, are we ready for a smidgen of marketing and promotion? Hello, you're back with Jack Burke and Access Beautiful Area! <laughs> We'll be hearing from new massive mix record signings, Jocks Were Hay. Personally, I think they're a load of crap, but then again, I would. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's. <laughs> and there they are over there, looking very Jocko and provincial. <laughs> I'm wicked, wicked. Oh, no, Bobby. <laughs> Jack, you are wicked. <laughs> yep, I am. We were out in the town last night, weren't we, Bob? We were, we were. <laughs> and guess what happened? Bobby passed out in grout shows. <laughs> Out. <laughs> and while he's having his stomach pumped, I shagged his bird. <laughs> but before that, she's here. She's entered the building. Let's hear it for Sam Fox.
Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Jack. Yeah, it's Sam Fox, everyone! <laughs> You've been doing some acting? I have indeed, yes. I just finished my, my first two movies. So you get your tits out? Pardon? Well, you know, do you get a kiff? I mean, that's what we want to know, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> I mean, you know, sort of shower scene, maybe, you know, or sauna. Maybe a sauna, you know, oh, bit hot in here. Suddenly, vroom, tits <clears> out. <throat> I think you're talking about my page three days, and I'm here to talk about my films, OK? It's a bit late for that, darling. Look, all I want to know is, is it embarrassing, you know, all the camera crew around you, all those people, you know, getting your kit off in front of them? I mean, it must get embarrassing. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> so, go on, then, give us a flash. <laughs> Sam, don't worry. I'm Jack Burke. This is Access Beautiful Sam Area. Again. It's... <laughs> Look, Sam, stick around, cos you're gonna love the next hat. Ladies and gentlemen, cut, cheer, go mad for Mike Dessard. <laughs> Sit the coat hanger, put it through the holes in my nipples. Right, now I'll just attach the chain and pull. Don't try this at home, kids, unless you know a good plastic surgeon. <laughs> now, here's a good bit. I get the lizard out and just insert him into me. Oh, steady, Reginald. He gets a bit frisky under the lights. And one and two... And hey, oh, me. Where's it you're here for? My nose is bigger than my knob. All right. So, a bit of hush break. Just like that for me, mate. Cheers. What are you doing? Put your guitar back on. For Christ's sakes! I have been standing here for hours. When are we going to play? Just do what you're told, you stupid cow. Hold, Alan. You don't speak to her like that. Shut it! I know he's in there. Yeah? On, yeah, they're oh, ready. Jesus, this doesn't usually happen. Shit. Oh. No, you come down and tell them. There. Absolutely disgusting. Do you like that, um, Sam? No. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, we were going to be hearing from Joshua Hay, but uh, Mike took too long to get that lizard out of his arse, so uh, no time left on the show for that one. On next week's show, we'll be having a stand up. Hey! Hey! We're booked to play live! Later, baby. Anyway, it's thanks to our guest, Samantha Fox. Sorry you didn't get your tits out, but uh, maybe hey, next time. Excuse me! You're not listening to me, son! I've called out cheeky! Yeah? What are you going to do about it, doll? <laughs> Sometimes you need that little bit extra to make your mark. Taking the shite out of Jack Beck on live television just seemed to strike a chord. The following week, we went straight in at number three. A young person's guide to becoming a rock star. Here's a handy summary. Put your band together. Rely on your parents for support. Get yourselves a manager. Emulate your heroes. Get good. Leave the past behind. Close that deal. Make friends and influence people. Have respect for your musical heritage. Stand up for yourselves. And finally, the young person's guide to becoming a rock star. Forget about it. It's a crazy world out there. We just wrote some songs and then got famous by mistake.
Victoria CD. Shite. Total shite. So, there you have it, you know what to do, so, who's to stop you? Somebody hangs up when you answer the phone.